Whale sharks are an endangered species. Their numbers have declined dramatically in recent years. The ultimate goal is using new technology to find out where whale sharks breed and areas that are important for their survival so that we can protect them. The first time I got to jump in the water and swim with a whale shark, being alongside the biggest fish in the sea, it really did take my breath away. So I'd go out swimming alongside, taking photos of their amazing pattern of spots. Then I'd go back and compare today's photo against yesterday's or last week's or photos from last year. Using citizen science, I started receiving whale shark submissions from members of the public. One of the things that we wanted to learn was whether the pattern of spots on the skin of a whale shark actually was unique to each individual and could we use that as a monitoring tool. I was very fortunate to collaborate with a couple of amazing scientists to adapt an algorithm used by NASA to map stars in the night sky. We took that to map the spots on the skin of a whale shark to compare thousands of photos. It worked, we were able to identify individuals. The Rolex Awards enabled me to expand the project across the globe so that we now have one of the most comprehensive monitoring programs of a wild animal in the world. People in more than 50 countries are now helping us monitor this endangered species. We've been able to identify hotspots around the globe that are really important for whale sharks. We've also been able to prove that sharks come back to those same locations year after year. We've even had some whale sharks that have returned over two decades to the same location. The Rolex Awards also provided the opportunity for me to build collaborations with other Rolex laureates, and one in particular is Professor Rory Wilson. Using the technology that Rory pioneered, we can learn more about where they're going to breed, where they're going to mate, and where they're going to have their young. This satellite or daily diary technology will help us better understand the important areas for whale sharks and how these important areas might be affected by climate change. Therefore, how that might affect their migration routes. I'm excited about discovery, finding new things about our world, driving innovation and having the influence to keep our planet and especially our marine environment healthy in perpetuity. We need to push the boundaries. We need to go to the deepest depths to find these answers. There's so much we still don't know, but there is such potential.